What's going on my gamers? Today I'm going to show you how to get to the library in I was going to say Ender Lilies in Tormented Souls. This honestly is a puzzle that uh, I had a little bit of trouble with and I'm going to help you guys figure this out. All right, so I'm going to show you step by step how to do this, what items you need to be able to make your way to the library. All right, so first you want to go ahead make your way to the main hall once you're in the main hall go to the west side and you want to go into the chapel okay once you're in the chapel you make your way through and while you're here don't forget to pick up the healing that's kind of tucked away over here you'll see it if you walk over this way and then you walk back you'll kind of see it sitting on one of the benches so don't forget to pick up that morphine that you're going to really need make your way over to the kitchen okay once you're in the kitchen make your way through over to the storage or the warehouse on the map it says storage or st actually it says store on the map it doesn't even say warehouse or storage uh there will be this dude on the wheelchair that you need to take out so take him out there is some acid to pick up over here, which is right here. Okay, so this nitric acid. And there is some ammo somewhere around here. I don't remember where to be honest with you, but thoroughly search the area. So going through over here, you want to go this way back to the chapel. You have to go this way in order to access this other area right here. So sitting over here is this knocker. Okay, so you got to pick this up. Once you pick that up, make your way back over and you can unlock the area that you need to go to the uh, back to the rest of the chapel. Okay. Before you do that, you can go ahead and check out this area right here in the closet. So you can make a mental note that you will need a battery for this part later on. All right. So going back to the chapel, we need to make our way to the second floor. All right, so you go ahead and unlock that, and it'll take you back to the chapel. Make your way to the second floor by going back to the main hall. Go up here, and there is a statue that's going to be sitting right here. Okay? Make a mental note of it. None of your items will work on this statue at the moment. Nymph untying her sandal. Sculpted by John Gibson. Remember this. Alright, so we're going to go over here to the right. And make our way over here. To the meeting room. In the meeting room, thoroughly check the meeting room. See if there's any items you need to pick up. You can't interact with this at the moment. I mean, you can, but there's nothing you can do with it. You need to put a VHS tape in there. We don't have one. All right, so we're going to go over here to the dark the dark room right here. On the second corridor, second floor corridor. Now this part is a little bit intimidating. If you're worried, there is some healing over here. Okay, so on this uh on this chair right here, there is some healing. What we want to do is we want to go down this way and don't worry about these statues, they won't attack you. And flip this switch right here. We now have power. Okay? So you see this creature right here? Don't waste ammo on it. What you want to do is use your crowbar and just attack it. If you walk in front of it, it will hurt you. Clearly, considering how it has blades on it. Once it's been knocked out, I don't know if it's dead or not. You can walk by it, pick up some ammo right here. Go into this area, which is, is a sewing room. It is a safe spot. Okay, so if you need to save, you can save. Over here, pick up the stethoscope. And make sure there's any other things you need to pick up. I know that there's a... Uh, what is it? A uh, recording thing. Right, right there some tape all right so if you need to save you can go ahead and save right here um i'm not going to i'm i'm okay um uh, go ahead and examine whatever you have to examine 
because you never know what might be handy later. Now that you have the stethoscope, go ahead and leave. You're going to go back to the main hall. Like I said, don't worry about these things. They won't attack you. It looks like they will, but they won't. All right, there's another guy over here. Go ahead and do the same thing. Take him out. Because you're going to have to go this way anyways. So might as well just take him out. And you can take him out whenever, but you're going to have to go this way. Because right here is a door. Now this door, when you examine it, it tells you only those who know the beating heart of John Gibson's creation may enter. Well, while we're here, let's go ahead and use this knocker. Put it right there. Now we have to go and solve this puzzle. So with the stethoscope in hand, let's go back to the main hall. Oh, <laughs> don't forget to equip your lighter or else you will die. Camera angle kind of disoriented me a little bit. All right, so now that we have that, let's go to the statue here. Click on the statue and use the stethoscope. So you have to memorize that heartbeat. Let's do it again. One. One, two, three. One, one. One, one, two, three. One, one. Now we go back. I really like these puzzles, honestly. All right. So I went ahead and I did it. I opened the door. And I do have to warn you, it has to be on point. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to re-record that audio of the heartbeat. And I'm going to just put the audio for the heartbeat for you guys to hear. So you can go ahead and match the door knock to the heartbeat. Because it is very on point. It has to be exact match or it will not do it. So if you do one, one, two, three, one, one, just, just like that, it won't work. You have to be exact to the beats that you hear on the heart so i will go ahead and do that but that's how you go ahead and you enter the library thank you so much for watching i appreciate it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new I'll see you guys in the next video peace out